welcome to the mix and on the mix we have lady v now lady v's message message is to live your life and live it to the fullest because we do not know you know when it's going to be our time she's saying that we have the opportunity to get up each day and basically live our lives to the fullest and live it the way that we want to and being honest with ourselves and living with ourselves you know basically um, she's saying that we have to be our natural selves and to continue to live that way not listening to what others have to say about us but being us naturally um, she's saying that it's not worth it to be somebody else or try to be somebody else you know living your life to please other people you have to please yourself and therefore you know she's giving a message she's sending a message to us that we have to live in our in favor of ourselves we have to live for our, ourselves and we have to ensure that we're not living to please people around us um, she just opened our store as well and we just want to say congratulations on that and continue doing the hard work that you're doing lady V and people go ahead and support her in her business and um, the endeavor and remember guys to like share comment and subscribe to the channel and as always lovelies have yourselves a wonderful day doctors lawyers teachers bank managers architects accountants police nurses chefs janitors waitress waiters domestic helpers flight attendants pilots they're all gays most in every profession all of those profession that i just call out you have gay people you have straight people what is the difference between a gay doctor and a straight doctor zero what is the difference between a gay lawyer and a straight lawyer zero we have to cut that thing out where we can't be us because people are going to say it not right. So can you imagine if I simply just say me love Marky and Shibada bad. I love, I'm going to type in Shibi there for me. I love me some Shibi. I'm going to type in my Marky there for me. I love me some Marky and I like MJ Harris. Me like MJ. You know what I love about MJ? He lives his truth. He's unapologetic. He is unashamed. He is proud of who he is and he embraces what is going on within him. And if I had only dear set my foot out here, you know, like MJ too, so warm to Marky, you wouldn't know, find Marky nice? Mama, Marky nice. Oh God, Marky, Marky nice right and truth is if i just simply put up a post and say oh um um should i pierce my nose yes or no and people start to talk he's in new york no yeah man she be sweet and people start to make it seem like if me pierce my nose me, me, me not gonna be the same lady v me i gonna lost my value machine my worth and all of that stuff and i wouldn't lose anything it's just like how me can pop out the earring yeah i'm still lady v and if i take up this earring and i decide to go back and say you know what me i put in back my earring I'm still Lady V. My value don't change. If you have a five dollar and you crush it up, still five dollar. Throw it on the ground, take your foot and ting it up, still five dollar. The value won't change. So we need to get out of the mindset that when we do the little things, it's gonna change. Me like MJ, he cool. MJ Harris, yes. All right, or Malcolm, something like that. I think. Mhm. Mm always I say best friend, best friend. That's, that's, that's up there again. Hold on, guys. Give me a minute. Hello? Sete? Yeah, then I'm going to come up now to bring it up. Yeah. You ready to leave or what? No.
<laughs> All right, that's all good. Uh, isn't that my bus charge? Huh? No, I'm just a They'll hold me if you get my phone charged. You see, yo? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, listen, guys. I want y'all to be. Sorry, I took a call. I want you to believe in yourself and I want you to live your truth. There are some of us in this life that there are so many things that we would want to do and we will never do it because society, the norms and the acceptable things, people are going to look at us as odd, strange, different. It is okay to be different. It is okay to live your truth. And may I say this with the greatest of respect to all of you that told me no. I understand where you're coming from. And I actually appreciate what you have said. To all of you who said to me, go ahead and do it, Lady V. Yes, I support it and you're sure it's going to look good. I thank you and I appreciate the way you come across. Now, let me say this. It wasn't because of the nose why I didn't do it. And it wasn't a case that if more persons had said yes, I would have done it. Because I see somebody made a comment, you know, like to say, something like about if you're not going to listen to me. Something along that line. You see, if piercing my nose was something that I really wanted to do, like it was a passion and it was a burning and me just feel like or if me I got you something and me feel like this could be me like a pick me up a moment or something like that or you know me the God forbid doctor say me sick or something and me just decide to start to live out me live out then yes and I don't care what nobody would tell me I'd go and pierce my nose but the whole nose piercing thing is not for me. Just like when I was in the States. I said to my daughter, may I go and get matching tattoos here? And she just looked at me like, quite a little time after she said, Ma, you're going through something? I said, like what? She said, what you said to me when we were walking across? They said that we're going to go and get two matching tattoos. She said, Ma, you're not going to get any tattoos. I said, you never know what day Ma may change. You don't know what's going on in Mom's world. Ma may have a reason to change your stance. And she said, Ma, I could never watch you spoil your skin. Your skin is so flawless and beautiful, Ma. I could never watch you do that. I said, but look how you do your skin. She said, Ma, we're not the same. Are different different things work for different people different things work for different people I can tell you if I put on tattoos and had on all them tattoos like my daughter I would be so uncomfortable with myself I first of all I couldn't bring myself to do it cuz whilst I can pierce my ears and pierce my nose and I can take out the nose ring tomorrow I'm not bother with that take out some now but I would that I'm stuck with the tattoo so I want us to really take a hard look at who we are, what we are about, and what we want. Don't worry so much about people. People are going to always be people. People are going to always have something to say. People are going to always dip their mouth in your story. People are going to always have something to say. Who should have nothing to say. People are going to always want to tell you what to do with your own life. People are going to want to mind your business for you. People are going to tell you what you should eat, what you should drink, what you should wear, where you should go, where you know for go, who to talk to, and who you know for talk to. Let me tell you. Trust me. Take this message with you. Live your best life. Live it to the fullest. Live it your way. It is your life. It is your choice. It is your rights. Be comfortable in the skin that you're in. If you are a gay person, be that and be that proudly and boldly.
Don't hide and lick and go on than a counter park I see you. No, I'm not the tattoo stuff. I don't have a problem if you have it, but I don't want it for me. It's not a condemnation or a criticism of you if you have tattoos. I love to see them. I think they're pretty. My daughter has some pretty, pretty tattoos. But I don't want tattoos on me personally. But I have nothing against the persons who have it. Just like I am not gay. And I'm certain that I'm not gay. I don't have that kind of warm feeling towards women. So I know it's not in my genes or my DNA. But I can tell you. I love my gay friends. I have nothing against them. I have nothing against gay people. I actually love my gay friends. I have friends that are gay. And we, we, are, we are like... When I see them, I don't see their gayness, if that's a word. I just see them for who they are, as a human being. So, you know, let's just be, yeah, uh, Merry Christmas to you, to Parker. Let's continue to be being who we are. Be true to ourselves. Be strong. Be brave. Be upfront. Be strong. Be brave. Be upfront. Yeah? What do you mean you judge me wrongfully? What do you mean by that, sweetie? What do you mean you judge me wrongfully? Hey, Tina. That's what I'm saying. Your sexuality doesn't make you who you are. Right? And at the end of the day, people are going to look at you and think, okay, if you have a tattoo, you are less of a woman. If you don't have no tattoo, you are more lady. No. No, that's not how it works. Some people think because some people chip some profanity and say, What well, if oh, lady, if you don't curse, no bad word, lady, if he's more lady. No, I'm not no more lady. It's just how we control ourselves, our mannerism, how we conduct ourselves. Different people do different things, but in my eyes, sin and sin, the whole of them are the same thing. I mean, in this, um, oh, my sin is less than yours, and no, 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 no. And I believe that you all should live your life and live it full. A season greetings to you and family. Thank you to you too. Right? Live your life and stop being so afraid of what people think and what they're going to say and how it's going to look. You have some time by time. You say something to Margaret. Boy, Margaret. Boy, so old that I go look. What do you think people are going to say? No, we worry too much about what people are going to say. We worry too much about how we are going to look. What we need to be worried about. How will it make me feel? How will it affect me? How will it impact me? Will it make me a better person? Will it make me a bitter person? Will it make me grow? What, what will it do? For me, and stop thinking about where people are gonna say how it's gonna look, how it's gonna sound. Boy, Lady V, Lady V, come out of the closet now and say she's a lesbian. Jesus, me know a long time. That's all you people are gonna can say, ain't it? Okay, but look at it this way now. Me know in my mind, say I am that. And me afraid to put it out in the atmosphere. Because why? What am I gonna say about me? Hey Nelson, what's up? What am I gonna say about me? Boy, how it I go look for no say me, me have two children and me did have man and know me come out as big forty nine, almost fifty year old woman. I say me a lesbian. Boy, that now go sound good, eh? What what people are gonna say? People are gonna talk, don't Nathan. What you toiting? No, I am worried about the wrong things right there. I am not worried of the fact that I may be living against what God wants of me. I am not worried of I am going against God's will or divine order. But I'm mindful of what 
people going to say? That shouldn't be my focus. What people are going to say shouldn't bother me. Two things I suppose to take into consideration. Will this be pleasing to God? And will it make me, Valine, happy? But we never stop to wonder about, is this something that God would have want us to do? No, we're not talking about that. Is this something that is going to make me happy? No, we're not talking about that. Why? Nathan, what do you think? If me come out and tell them, say, me gay, what do you think? Them are going to say, Lord Jesus, that's true, you know? Why? What do you think? V, all this school up there, where you go, they're not going to make you go. What do you think? Them are going to say, what do you think your church are going to say? You think they're still going to make you do the woman ministry? Up to now, I'm in a year where God say, I'm in a year if it's going to make you happy or if it's going to fulfill.